Hey there, Goa fans. Mark DJ Solitaire here with episode 59 of Retro Goa Explorations. In this series, I'm presenting in every episode one of my favorite tracks from the 1990s Goa Trance psychedelic dance movement. We are into the 96 97 season. And I think I finally figured out which compilation I got first when I went to London. As I was checking the release dates, I was thinking back. And uh, so I thought I would feature a track from this one. And it's a doozy. Uh, this is uh, Order Odonata, the third compilation, uh, which was released in August. But I definitely got this in London because we can see the very expensive price tag from HMV. £15 was, I mean, that's basically, it was like $30. And this is almost... 30 years ago. So uh, CDs were expensive. They were always very expensive in the UK. Uh, same thing in the classical scene. And while I was living there, what was I going to do, right? So um, of course, I knew Dragonfly. The first compilation I ever bought was Order Radonata Volume 1. Got Volume 2 in Tokyo as well. And this one was Volume 3, The Technical use of sound in magic magic with a k at the end very old school and um so you know i'm pretty sure i got this really early on in my stay in london uh starting in september 96 and i remember distinctly uh walking around town with my uh discman right my cd portable cd player not sure if that one had anti-skip or not but uh, in any case i uh, nothing was going to stop me from walking around and listening to this music and I, I really remember the impact that a few of these tracks had uh on me uh of course including the one we'll do today it was really an evolution in the sound i mean you can hear that things were starting to go in a different direction and let's face it i mean isn't that the, what should be um, hopefully the right direction, of course. Uh, and <laughs> flash, flash forward 20 plus years, we can talk about that. But uh, I wanted to feature the track, third track on here, Over the Moon by Freaky. So this is a collaboration between the members of Cydonia and Indoor. So Cydonia at this point, we've got uh, Dino Saras, master DJ, uh, phenomenal DJ. We'll be talking about some of his uh, sets and tracks uh, that I remember him playing, uh, together with Steve Ronan. This is before Ian Rive uh, joined the group. And then there's Indoor, which is uh, Avi Algranati, Ofer Dekovsky, and often overlooked uh, Marco Goren is his name on the labels. Last name is really Gorkin. Uh, he left the scene. I mean, basically he worked as a producer, wasn't really active as a DJ, so he often gets overlooked. But these five produced this track in the downstairs studio, the larger of the studios at the uh, Butterfly Studios in Brixton, which was really uh, Trance HQ. Uh, this is where a lot of the tracks, and we've talked about be them before, uh, were produced at these studios. There was a, a smaller upstairs studio and then a larger downstairs studio. So, you know, all these great spirits, several hallucinogen tracks. Um, what else did I mention was produced there? Uh, Prana did two tracks there, one of which was Pneumatic, which was featured in this series. Uh, and Steve told me that at one point, Youth legendary producer whose heart is really in you know the goa and psychedelic movement but you know a very famous producer grammy winner uh and uh, he came down at one point during the session and was mimicking picked up a guitar and was mimicking the bass line uh so um so this track is uh you know it really is a different kind of flavor of course it's got some elements that were part of the trans lexicon but not fully in the sense of some pretty heavy guitar and you know i remember at the equinox parties in particular in japan 
uh, you know, Juno Reactor's Loyalizer remix and a couple of other tracks where there's a bit more of that, uh, you know, kind of rock and roll feeling, but, you know, really a cyber rock, right? Like electro rock kind of thing happening, but still very tribal and psychedelic. So we've got a bit of that going on here. Uh, some very cool synth sounds, um, beautiful harmonies and uh, melodies and so on. And, um, and it's just all around a really great track with a lot of dimension, a lot of direction. So um, I think that's it. I'll, obviously, we'll have things to say, as I usually do while it's playing. So why don't we get started with uh, Over the Moon by Freaky. So there's that guitar. I love the way this just comes in. You know, this pulse, and you've got that chord that's coming in. This is great for doing some long preview mixing, which I love to do. Not sure that I've ever played this track out. I might have done back then. But this kind of intro really lends itself for that kind of introduction. Then. So this kind of pattern uh, heard in Right in Cyber Jam before uh, Alpha Flight, and also Trance Wave. I think one of the tracks that we did had this kind of similar kind of pattern, but it sounds totally unique to to them in the sense of note combinations. Notice that rhythm and again that hi hat in there. And now the way that bass line plays with that upper pattern as well as the uh, rhythmic stuff. Notice how uh, this bass, uh, this uh, bass line especially reminds me of uh, one of the trance wave tracks we did. Notice how there's that one note variation. Beautifully hypnotic. Trill in there. A little Dino specialty. He's got another great track with that. And I love the way there's that tweak stuff up at the upper level, while there's that clearer harmonic arpeggiation. And all this beautiful phasing, right? On a big system, this is just going to be, you know, swimming around all over the place. And then, shh, I love it. Again, we're still getting those beautiful whoosh sounds in there. Beautiful atmos atmospheric mood. I mean, it's really, I mean, think about where, when would you play this? I mean, it's got so many different moods. It's got that kind of morning but it's a little bit darker right the introduction and the guitar it's a little bit heavier it's a really brilliant uh, combination of moves and that comes back super effective little break there again listen how many layers are happening simultaneously Get those little rhythmic things and then Another quasi-guitar riff. Again, that cyber-electro rock kind of thing. And it's got, the, again, that beautiful combination of anguish and exclamatory sort of, I don't know, just all the feels. Beautiful pattern you know, with that kick there. Love this bass line. Fabulous. 
me say while all this is going on. Beautiful. Again, you know, the combination where we hear some notes, but then it sort of goes into those non notey kind of tweak sounds. And then this little bit. Got this sound building up. And this little bit of this break here. Wow. This is predicting their other, uh, well, actually, it's related to it came out before this, didn't it? Uh, tornado. That really exclamatory, this is it, kind of energy. Ooh, no guitar there, eh? Just this thing? So every, every four bars, lose the kick. These little flying sounds. Just love the clarity of those with the bass line. And those. And then. Quick little key change there. Very cool. Listen, how many different. I mean, what a storyline, right? With some, some new stuff that's actually coming in that's related to what's been going on. So. There's this evolution that's really happening. And then those other sounds happening there. Just the intensity really building up. Effective pauses. Speaking of which, I mean, after all that, you do need to catch your breath, don't you? <clears throat> what a brilliant way. Again, there's all these stories and all these phases that go on and that build up. And you know, you gotta take a break, but the break is incorporated into the story. Right? It's not introducing new material as everybody seems to do nowadays. Now, listen how. There's that, but listen to that, this little pan flutey kind of voice hit in the background that's getting progressively louder. Ooh, and we get those. You know, there's something really like ethnic, tribal about this kind of uh, pan flutey riff over here. And that, again, the repetition of that riff, really hypnotic, along with all this other slightly more earthy, but also really cosmic, otherworldly sounds. So everybody's fully going for it at this point. I just know the guitar is a lot softer at this point. Their big voice just pulled out. Now we've got more aerated sounds with that guitar. And the K 
kick leaves, we've just got that beautiful bass line, this concluding synth sound. Oh, a full on story. Um, and when I say full on, by the way, I'm not talking about a kind of music because that was not a term. Um, wasn't used that way uh, back then. Uh, the term full on was really a British term for like, yeah, full power. Uh, almost 10 minutes, really, really long track uh, for the genre. And I mean, brilliant, brilliant structuring and storyline. I mean, really, uh, um, as I was pointing out, you know, the way some of those voices evolve, uh, the way the mood uh, changes and it shifts into these more atmospheric bits and more sort of cyber rock stuff and then that ethnic and then you know the atmospheric the exclamatory uh, celebratory uh, emotional uh, expressions and expulsions and so on um, a whole lot going on brilliant teamwork if you think five musicians working on this I mean just incredible stuff um, so Freaky did, you know, they had their Tornado uh, track, which uh, I didn't cover in the second uh, Order of Donata compilation, and this one on the third. Uh, not tons of music. I mean, they never came out with an album, uh, you know, and Indoor was doing their thing, and uh, Cydonia would end up doing theirs and you know, would move over to uh, move over to Blue Room. Um this comp, by the way, was the last one that was produced by Simon Holton, who did the previous two, uh, and it was released in August 96, and starting in September 96, Twisted Records started releasing things, and Simon's, Simon H has been, the, uh, has been the manager of that label since September 96, right? So he was the... Uh, he was the mastermind between everything that was going on at Dragon, you know, with everything that was going on at Dragonfly uh, during that formative period with the Hallucinogen album and so on. So uh, the first one at Dragonfly and then, you know, moving everything over to Twisted. So, uh, you know, they never, it's it's the interesting thing in these uh, in these original compilations, you know, they, they never put the name of the producer. You have, you know, the engineers, they have the people who wrote the tracks and so on and all these thank yous, but... Uh, you know, a little bit of that invisibility uh, for who's actually uh, responsible for the compilation. So hat tip to Maestro Holton for this incredible third compilation on the Dragonfly label. And of course, to the five musicians who put that phenomenal track together. So uh, I will sign off in a few seconds here and leave you to listen to the whole track without my spoken commentary so you can enjoy all of the uh, all of the different dimensions and directions and sounds and so on. I'm Mark DJ Solitaire, leaving you now with a complete track by Freaky, Over the Moon. I'm <laughs> sorry.